we will be discussing about web application guys so what is a web application guys so web application do what it provides an interface between the end user and end if you can say web server so if you want to go all right this is you as a user so if you want to access any website all right so what you'll be using there is a web application in between right and this is your web server and this web server is having its own database all right this is the architecture right so let's suppose if you want to purchase anything you want to go to facebook website or anything so you will be doing what you will be using this and this will be transferring your request to the web server so what is your web application over here the web application do what it provides an interface between the end user this is your user and the web servers via what via set of web pages all right that are generated at the server's end all right so this is what this is your web application and what is your web application forensics so in web application forensics you will be collecting and analyzing the logs and we will be doing what we will be uh, you can say we will be analyzing the you can say other artifacts so that you will be doing what you can determine the cause the nature and the attack all right so this is what we have to discuss so let me just show you all right the architecture of web uh, application guys so this is the web application architecture this is you with your device like mobile phone or laptop this is your web browser all right then we have web server all right that web server is having uh, is connected with your business layer and database right so this is the complete web application architecture all right now we have what we have various kind of challenges that are faced by forensic guys in in what web application forensic first is your web applications are generally distributed in nature all right they are what they are distributed in nature traces of activities are recorded across number of hardware and software infrastructure all right apart from that as an investigator you'll not be getting you can see uh, you can see a huge amount of downtime all right apart from that huge volumes of logs will be generated from various sources apart from that you have to do what you have to analyze large databases all right and also if you are going to perform web application forensics guys you should be having complete knowledge of web servers application server databases all right so that is why so you can say web application forensics is very difficult what are the indications indications of web attack you'll not be able to open the website you'll not be able to access the services of that particular platform right if you are having account in that particular account in that particular platform there will be some suspicious activities in your user account right then there will be you can see urls that will be directing to in incorrect sites the web page will, will be defaced all right the, the network performance will be slow all right there will be frequent rebooting of the server and we have word we have we will you'll be getting error messages like 500 all right that that goes to internal server error all right so these are the problems guys so i use the word that is web defacement we have defacement right so what is what web page defacement web page defacement means that let's suppose you are logged in into your banking website you want to do what you want to perform you can say you want to perform transactions over there all right you want to open a new service or you want to send some money to your friend or you have to receive some money you will be going to the banking website all right? now guys what will happen is let's suppose when you were using your website banking website suddenly a youtube page appeared and it got executed now the video is playing in that youtube page and you are not able to do anything you just can watch that video that's it you cannot do anything so that is known as what that is known as your website defacement it means to say that actually your website was meant for the banking purposes but what is happening now 
now a youtube page is running on it that has done what that has defaced the website that is web page defaced page. and generally we have various attack guys like we have cross site scripting attack so that is what that is your you can say that attack to what it it defaces the websites web pages also it will be doing what it will be stealing the cookies all right so most probably i'll be showing you that today okay then we have next guys that is web application threats so there are various kind of threats that are posed to web applications all right so we have web applications threats so we have what we have you can see various kind of attacks guys like we have sql injections those who have done ch they know what sql injection is because there is a complete module about ch sql injection and ch either it is version 9 version 10 version 11 then we have xss that is known as cross site scripting all right we have xss that is cross site scripting we have csrf that is cross site request forgery apart from that we have you can say ddos attack we have ddos attacks all right we have you can say parameter tempering attack all right para meter tempering attack that is also known as insecure direct object reference we have you can say directory traversal all right directory traversal attack or apart from that we have invalidated input we have information leakage we have improper error handling we have buffer overflow we have security misconfiguration we have broken access control all right so generally your your oas top 10 do what guys your oas top 10 provides you the complete uh, you can say list of web application threats that are posed in the market all right so we have oas top 10 list actually all right that we 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 we, we can go through. all right now guys how you are going to investigate a web attack all right so you will be doing what you will be confirming the web attack and you will be identifying its nature what kind of attack is it is it a dos attack because it is it is it is it causing trouble for the web services is it a cross site scripting attack or is it a skill injection attack all right then you will try to capture the volatile data from the machines then you will be taking snapshot of the system or you will be shutting down the system in case of uh, dos ddos attack all right that is that is a counter measure or you then you will be doing what you will be making forensic image all right of the system so that is what guys that is your you can say investigation that is how you will be in the starting investigation all right then you will be doing what you'll be analyzing the log files you'll be collecting the server configuration files you will be identifying abnormal app activities that has been performed all right apart from that you will be called corroboration there is a word that is known as corroboration corroboration means you will be comparing the logs of different devices with each other so that you will be uh, validating the logs as well as you will be having an idea that yes since all the devices are showing you the same information so you can confirm it all right that is why we do corroboration all right then you will do what you will try once you know the attacker all right has entered your system so the first thing is you you will be doing what you will be blocking the attacker so that he will not be causing much more damage to the organization then you will be just tracking the the ip address of the attacker so that you can find them out and you can catch them and we have word whatever you will be doing you will be documenting it so this is how you will be doing what you'll be investigating web attacks all right now guys how you are going to investigate attacks all right in your windows based server so they have given you certain commands so i'm writing it that is investigating web attacks in windows based servers all right so talking about it guys you will be doing what to check the logs you will be typing the command or you will be going to a place that is c colon slash and you will be writing event vwr all right vwr dot msc this is the 
but that you'll be typing and you'll be getting what you'll be getting the logs all right now in that logs will be checking all right that how many failed locking attempts have been made all right you will be checking logged out counts also so all right so you will be in one word you'll be checking the suspicious events all right in the log table then you will be doing what you will be reviewing the file that has been shared all right so for reviewing the files you will be doing what will be typing c colon slash will be doing net view all right and then you will be typing the ip address all right so this will be doing what it will be showing you the file shared all right then we have next that is you want to check that how many sessions has been opened by the users all right so you will be typing the command guys that is c colon slash net sessions all right then you want to check if any session that has been executed by the individual by the user is open in another system or not so for that you will be typing the command c colon slash net use all right then if you want to check for net bios activities so you'll be typing the command c colon slash all right then we have what we have you can say nbt stuff all right this is what you'll be typing so these are the commands that you'll be using to perform the investigation on windows base all right and if you want to find out uh, you can say the the tcp and udb ports that are listening to you can say unusual traffic so for that you'll be typing the command that is c colon slash all right c colon slash and you'll be writing net start hyphen and a so these are the commands that you'll be writing all right that you'll be using to investigate web based attack apart from that guys if you want to check first first get yield task on the local host if attacker has compromised your machine and he has scheduled the task so for that you'll be doing what you'll be using the command that is c colon slash and you'll be writing schedule sch tasks dot exe this is what you'll be typing for checking scheduled and unscheduled tasks now you want to check that the attacker after gaining the access of your computer after becoming the administrator did he create any type of new account all right if you want to check that whether the attacker have created a new account in the system or not so for that you'll be typing the command that is c colon slash all right and you'll be writing l u s r m g r dot m s c all right this is to check new accounts creation and administrative work all right if you want to check that if any of the you can see any of the malicious processes running in the in the in the system so you can open your task bar all right task manager and you can check it out apart from that guys if you want to look that whether there are any kind of unusual services that are running all right so you will be doing what you will be typing the command that is net start all right net start all right net start this is the command that you'll be using all right that is c colon slash and net start this is a command that is used to look for unusual network services okay and if you want to check file space usage all right so that you can investigate the decrease in free spaces of the system so just type the command that is c colon slash bir that's it this is what you will be typing guys to find out the you can say the the, the evidences in windows base server the first command that will be we are having guys is your you can say net sessions so we'll be doing what type net sessions enter wait a minute t td dot dot okay td dot dot okay i will be writing net sessions see there is no session that has been used by me then if you want to check 
that the session the that is created is opened in any other system so we'll be typing net use press enter see new connections will be remembered there is no entry in the list all right this is what i'm getting then we have next guys that is you want to check the net bios information so we'll be typing nbt start all right hyphen capital s all right press enter and see this is your nb net bios information all right see, this is your net bios all right then we have next that is if you want to check tcp and udp ports that have a new you are listening so you'll be typing the command net start all right space hyphen na and this is what you'll be getting all right this is what you'll be getting which will be showing you unusual listings on different different tcp and udp ports then if you want to check you can say scheduled and unscheduled task for that you'll be typing the command that is you'll be typing the command ch t a s k s dot e x e all right and these are the scheduled tasks in my computer right all right these are the scheduled tasks all right if you want if i want to check that which of the folders have been created in my computer all right which of the accounts have been created by the attacker in my administrative group i'll be typing the command that is l u s r m g r dot m s c all right see there is no user or groups that have been created so you'll be seeing there is no group access all right you can do what you can add the you can see the rules you can remove the rules from there right then we have next guys that is if you want to check unexpected processes that are running so you'll be going to your task manager all right and in your task manager you'll be looking for the processes for the service all right so for unusual network services you'll be typing the command that is you can say net start all right net start so this is unusual network services all right that will be running in the system so they want to look for unusual network services so over here these are what these are these are the services that are being termed as malicious or, right, or unusual network services that have been found in my computer all right so you can find out that which of the service is not required and you will be doing what you will be doing what you'll be going and you'll be closing that service all right from your task manager apart from that if you want to check the overall space usage in your computer so just type the command that is d i r and it will be doing what it will be giving you the information all right so this is what guys this is your windows based server investigation 